Hey guys, Nikki with This Robin's Nest. In today's video, I'm just going to share with you a super quick little thrift store haul. First thing that I got is this Country Living, um, the Farm Chicks in the Kitchen book, which I love the pictures on it. And um, when I opened it up, it is a signed copy to whoever owned it before. So that's pretty cool. And then, I don't know that they ever really used it because... It comes with the stencil, which is like brand new. It's this little kitchen apron that you can use on things. And then, um, I mean, the book doesn't really look like it's it's been touched. And there is a fabulous, fabulous recipe in here. I was looking through it um, when I brought it home today for cinnamon rolls in the breakfast section. And I'm going to have to give them a try. And if they turn out well, maybe I'll do a tutorial on them or a... Um, video. We'll see. So anyways, I picked that book up. So that was a lot of fun. Then I managed to get some milk glass. This was um, 99 cents and it's a little bud vase, but it's got some interesting um, detailing around the bottom that I haven't seen a whole lot of. So that was a nice little piece to add to my collection. And then I got a larger um, vase and I really like this one. I haven't seen anything like this in the milk glass. Um, that I've come across. So, you know, Hobnail is my favorite, but I really like both of these pieces. So I got those two things, and then I'm going to show you a cabinet that I got for $6.99 for my daughter's room upstairs. It's from Value Village, and you can see the tag up there. I just wanted to show you guys because I had thrown the receipt away. It was $6.99, um, and I have already washed it down with a um, washcloth with some Dawn and um, warm soap water, but I have to go back over it again. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, it is this floor to ceiling cabinet, and I have to adjust one of the hinges because the door is just a little off on the top. It's slightly down on the right, um, but I, I can fix that. And it's really good quality. And for $6.99, I put this in my daughter's room, and I know I owe you guys a room tour um, of my office in my daughter's room. But let me just tell you a little debacle is that none of her furniture would fit up through the staircase. So we are scrambling um, to put her room together in a way that's working. And so far, it's not really. So I will get to that, I promise. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, let's see here. So what I have done with this cabinet is I put all of her little crowns and her dress up things in it. It already came with the hang bar and a shelf. Um, she's missing one Cinderella shoe, but for $6.99, this is amazing storage. It's, it's really well built. It's actually pretty substantial. And so she's got like her, um, limited edition on a costume from Disneyland. Um, she's got her Sleeping Beauty costume, her Cinderella from when we were in Disneyland, um, her play on a costume, um, Snow White, um, and I think Superwoman's in there. So, but how fun is this for $6.99, you guys? So, I have her costumes in there, and then down here in the drawer, she's got all of like her, um, her Elsa gloves and her little slippers and um, she's thrown some other trinkets in here and like her little wands and um, she has a Hannah and Elsa book in there and then her jewelry box. So on the side here, I put some um, command hooks that will come off of the cabinet easily and she's been hanging her um, necklaces and her bracelets. So it's for $6.99, it's a fun little um, PlayStation for dress up. The um, other thing that I found was these um, little glasses which match some dessert bowls that I had picked up earlier and um, they are kind of a pink and this is more kind of like a, a lilac color. The lighting in here is really bad so it's not really showing up but I got a set of four of those at the thrift store. And then I picked up this vintage apron. It's just like a waist apron and it's got the lace around the side. You just put it around your waist and it's got this little um, vintage Santa Claus so I thought that would be fun around the so I also found two vintage Christmas items, and one is this, um, I don't know, some kind of kitchen decor, and it was a quarter at an estate sale. So I picked up a couple of bed linens, which I have never done before at the thrift store, but I will have you know that I have um, washed them in extra hot water on an allergen setting, and I've already slept on them, and I lived, so it's all good. Um, and they were great finds because I found four 
pillowcases from Pottery Barn, which is the only bedding I've used for like the last 10 years, and we've always purchased it new from the store itself. Um, so at $1.99 a pillowcase, these were a still, and this has the um, kind of celery lining right there and um, it's really crisp. I don't I don't know if they've ever been used, but they feel brand new. They look brand new. And then I picked up two um, spring colors to kind of update my bedding for spring and there's this um, kind of diamond print and then this one as well. And these were dwell for Target, I believe. So um, I also got a bed skirt from Pottery Barn and um, I don't know where I put it. So I'll just show you guys um, these scores for the time being. Okay guys, so finally I'm just gonna show you the planner that I've been using randomly in this video because I've gotten a couple questions about it. I do have a blog post up on thisrobinsnest.com, um, but this planner is from Webster's Pages, which is a company that I adore. They have the most beautiful graphics, um, graphic design and prints on their scrapbooking supplies, and this year they came out with a planner. So it's their first year, and um, you know, if this planner was larger and the spaces to write in were larger, this, would be an end all for me like I I would just be so over the moon but the spaces to write in are just so teeny tiny for me anyways I don't know how to write that small and um, I'd have an even harder time reading it um, once I was done let me see if I can find a really good example so it looks a little bit larger on camera but the lines are just kind of really teeny tiny and I'll show you guys that uh, monthly so like the monthly spaces are so, so small. Here's my finger. <laughs> just like if I had a, probably a nickel maybe might fit into that spot. Um, yeah, so not really practical for me. There are a little bit of um, more room in the day to day, but I'm, I kind of like an hourly setup or a morning, afternoon, night. This wouldn't be sufficient for me. The lines over here are like so tiny. Like there's not even a, half of a fingernail space in between. So anyways, it's a beautiful planner. I do love it. I just hope they come out with larger ones in the future and uh, make more room for actual writing in it. So I have a blog post up on that if you wanna check it out and I just thought I'd throw it into the video and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon. Can I help you with something? Yes, please. What's the matter? I don't like my drink. I just made upstairs and buy it in my kitchen. You don't like the drink you made upstairs in your kitchen? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to say hi? Hi, Nikki with the Robin's Nest.